So the evidence tells us that following an ACL reconstruction, if the athlete returns to sport before nine months, they are almost seven times more likely to sustain a second ACL injury. This needs investigating. Let's dive in. Hey everyone, Khalid here. Welcome back to Clinical Physio. So we get asked this all the time. When should my patient return to sport following their ACL reconstruction? Well, today we're going to review this fantastic piece of evidence by Besha et al. 2020, which gives us some brilliant insights. So the researchers completed an observational study involving 159 patients, both male and female athletes, aged between 15 and 30, who had had a primary ACL reconstruction and were involved in knee strenuous sports. So the researchers monitored the progress of these 159 patients over a four-year period, marking down when they returned to sport, the number of months after their surgery, and whether or not they sustained a secondary ACL injury. Well, out of these 159 athletes, unfortunately 18 of them did sustain a secondary ACL injury. 10 of them in the operated leg and 8 of them in the non-operated leg. And that's interesting in itself. We previously assumed that most of them would injure the same leg, but it just goes to show the contralateral leg can be vulnerable after an ACL reconstruction on the other side. So again, the key metric they were looking at was the time that the person returned to sport following their ACL reconstruction. And they analyzed the event rate of a secondary injury in those who returned to sport after nine months, and the rate was 3.9. However, if you return to sport prior to nine months, the event rate was 24.8, almost seven times greater than those who returned to sport after nine months staggering data and they went on to find that of the 33 individuals who did return to sport before nine months 10 of them almost a third of them sustained a secondary acl injury so really interesting data there a clear indication that if an athlete returns to sport prior to the nine month mark following their acl reconstruction there's a clear increase in the risk of them sustaining a secondary acl injury so what if your athlete is now beyond the nine month mark? Can they just return to sport and everything will be okay? Well, that's not quite right either. Here are some key things to think about. So first of all, we want to make sure our patient or athlete completes a series of physical functional tests that demonstrate that they have the ability to cope with the demands of returning to their sporting environment. So that could be things like your single leg hop test, your triple leg crossover hop test, or your star excursion balance test. If you want more details of these, make sure you watch till the end of the video because we've got something for you there. But once again, these tests demonstrate that your athlete is physically ready, but also psychologically ready. And we know that the psychology involved in returning to sport after an ACL injury is also really important to making sure that they don't sustain another injury. So next, we wanna try and facilitate a step-by-step -step approach to help our athlete return to their sport beyond just the physical drills. So that could be, for example, non-contact activities that mimic and replicate exactly what your patient needs to do in their sporting environment. So for example, we could be talking about running and changing directions, could be agility drills, could be jumping and having to control the landing. Ultimately, have a think about what exactly does my athlete need to do in their sport, convert that into a drill and get them set on their way. So next, our athlete might go back to sports training, not competitive sport just yet. So if your athlete competes in an individual sport, like tennis, for example, this could be their opportunity to get back on the court and practice hitting some shots with their coach. If they play in a team sport like basketball, they could get back into training with the team, practicing things like shooting, changing direction or layups that involves jumping and landing, which is going to be really important. The key here is that we're just going back to training. We've done the physical test to say that they're ready to return to an environment of sport. Now we're getting them to ramp up the specific tasks they have to do. And we could probably consider this in the six to nine month period after their reconstruction. So now we might be just after the nine month stage and it might be time to return to non-competitive sport. So for example, this could be friendly football with some friends. Hopefully we're in an environment here where the aim is that the patient is playing with people who understand that they've been injured and hopefully won't be going into any heavy tackles with them. But as time goes on, that person 
might need to get their friends to be a little bit more physical with them as time progresses because you don't want that first heavy tackle to be in the competitive match. You want to make sure that you can cope with that before you actually step on the field of play. And then of course, it's time to get back into competitive sport. As the evidence has highlighted, we would suggest this is after the nine month stage. Hopefully you'll be eased in. So for example, if you're playing in a team sport, you might be able to play the last 10 minutes of a match then the last 20 minutes or the last quarter, then the second half, and then eventually a full game. The idea is once again, a gradual increase in activity towards getting back to full sport, making sure that you have completed the necessary tests and the necessary training before things get competitive. So we talked about some physical tests earlier, like the star excursion balance test, your single leg hop test, or your triple leg crossover hop test. These are super important. This article has shown us the importance of time in returning to sport. But once again, if your athlete isn't physically ready, it's irrelevant. We need to make sure that they're completing these tests to make sure that they're in the optimum state to return to their sport. And if you want more details about those specific tests, you can find them up here or a link in the description below. So guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel and check out our website, clinicalphysio.com for even more great resources for physiotherapists. I'm Khalid. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon here on Clinical Physio.